The driver who hit the couple remained on the scene and is cooperating with police. He has not yet been charged. At least one local business owner now wonders what can be done to keep something like this from happening again. He hit them there, came right about there, you know, came about 10, 10 or so feet. Al Green owns the Speakeasy Kava Cafe at the corner of Central and 21st Street. Even he has experienced close calls with motorists. So this intersection right here is just really terrible visibility. I hate crossing it. I hate driving across it. On the night of April 9th, Robert Suprenant and his wife of 26 years, Darlene, were trying to cross Central when the driver of a Dodge truck hit them. Robert passed away that night. Darlene passed away on Sunday night. According to his obituary, Robert was a Navy veteran. The driver has not been charged, and the investigation is still active. Whenever you're driving in downtown St. Petersburg, you have to really pay attention to the pedestrians, the scooters, the bike riders. Police spokeswoman Yolanda Fernandez can't comment on this case specifically, but tells Eight on Your Side pedestrians should also be watching out. You have to pay attention too. Yeah, you might have the right of way if you're in the crosswalk, but you also have to be aware that not everyone may see you. It's far too early in this investigation to say if the driver was distracted or just didn't see the couple. Green believes the city should do something to make the intersection a bit safer. Even if that one of these two sets of scooters were moved to another corner rather than directly across from each other, that might be nice. Um, definitely, I would love one of these, those light up crosswalks. Another business owner tells me police are currently looking at his surveillance video. He also says he routinely sees people speeding down Central Avenue. In St. Petersburg, I'm Chip Osowski, 8 on your side.